Hi everyone, I'm back to making uh, makeup tutorials. I haven't done one in the longest time, but this is a special request from my um, one of my viewers, my subscribers. It's a J look, kind of inspired look, and uh, she sent me the picture, and I'll put the link of the picture in the bottom bar. And um, I don't look very much like J Lo, and I have different colors, although my hair now kind of sort of looks like J Lo, the hair color. <laughs> And, um, and I'm tanner now than I was before, so I was trying to wait to make this video. I am a bit tanner, even though it doesn't really seem like it. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really happy about this look. I love it, so thanks again for um, showing it to me. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy my tutorial. To start out, I applied the Laura Mercier foundation. Now, what I'm going to do is to give it that sheen. I'm just going to go over it with the Benefit Tinted Moisturizer a bit. Just so once you do that, I'm take the blush from Estee Lauder and it's a nice peachy color. I'm just gonna apply it to my hand like this. So it's gonna like warm up a bit. Same brush I used for the foundation. And just dip a so little. So the on. concealer I'm using is the concealer. Um, and it's number three. I'm just gonna three. take a bit on my finger and dab it on Stay here. any like brush, fluffy brush, and just blend it in. Then as a bronzer, I'm using the Lancome. This is actually foundation mousse, but I'm using it as a bronzer. If you want more of a softer like line that grabs more, just use that same uh, brush and dab it in and just contour your in the hollows. That's better. Just to give a more like um, tan effect. And I absolutely love this as a bronzer. Whatever is left, you bring it up here because she's quite tan. And here, and then too. a bit down the nose. And this is perfect because it just goes directly. Okay, so now I look much I'm more tan. Take the Sun Club from Essence, which is like the, exactly like the shimmer bricks from. Um, Bobby the Brown. fluffy brush. I'm gonna take the long comb one. It's sort of slightly angled. I'm just going to swirl everything in. Make sure you tap it off. And then you gently go over like all of the cheek area. Creates a gorgeous sheen and it's just very, very good just to make you look tan. Okay, so it gives like a nice what glow. What you want to do to give an extra pop of light, you take that top color mixed in with the second one. And this is a go right here on the cheekbone and just a bit on the top of your um, eyes, a bit down the nose, a bit on the forehead. Then as on your eyes, I'm going to apply the Instant Smooth from Clinique as a primer to settle so that everything settles. While it's settling, I'm just going to take um, the Shiseido Translucent Loose Powder take that same like fluffy brush this is just an art brush and set if you want to set the concealer around the nose okay so we can start with the eyes so you want to have sort of a um, neutral base brûlé all over my eyelid with just a fluffy brush this is just a cheap fluffy brush especially here on the highlight area do that then I'm taking this is a benefit color it's leggy and this it's this shimmery I'm gonna apply it with that same fluffy brush here in the inner corner to give me like an extra pop of light okay then um, I'm taking champagne from Coralista and it's a champagne color kind of color. It has a lot of caramel too. And I'm just gonna go here on the yeah. on the highlight. Then what you want to do is you kind of want to take a rusty goldy color. And I'm taking this is a prestige palette, and I'm taking this color here, which is like like gold. And I'm going to take it with a 239. Top off the excess color. You can take any gold color and just apply it here. Not too, going too far down in the inner corner, just here a bit. 
Okay, so now that you have the gold on, as you can see, I only applied it here and here, okay. Um, go back with the highlight color that you, and just go over it here in the corners a bit. Then we can start with the purple. Now the purple I'm using, this is a Naoleari uh, purple. It's very bright. And I'm going to take, uh, you can take a fluffy brush, this is a MAC 224, kind of, it's another old MAC brush. And we're going to apply it here in the crease. And it's a very vibrant purple, but we're going to tone it down after. You want to really go up here, I mean, I know some of you might not have a lot of space, but really like bring it up all the way here. Then if you have a pencil brush, um, what you want to do is take that same purple and just um, apply some here in the inner corner. Okay, so it's only like here in the inner corner and way out in the crease going all the way up here. Then always you want to blend out everything. So take a fluffy brush and blend any harsh lines. Now last, line your waterline with a black eyeliner, the top two, and just line ever so slightly in between your lashes. Whenever you line, um, you make a nice thin line of black eyeliner, it just defines and brings out all of the colors that you've just applied. Okay, then I'm taking, this is an Estee Lauder, uh, kind of a gray, it's a very gray, it's a dark gray, <laughs> it's a dark gray. Always take that same uh, pencil brush from MAC and go over slightly that black eyeliner that you've just applied. It's going to lock it in and also create it, like make it more smoky. Just maybe also swirl it a bit up here in the corner. And then with whatever is left on the brush, you want to go right underneath your lash line. Okay, whatever black you applied, you just want to blend it out in together with the gold and the purple. Okay, that's pretty much it for the eyes. Now you want to curl your lashes. Okay, leave your eyebrows very neutral. If you don't have any eyebrows, we'll pencil them in or apply a... F mm, eyeshadow I have a lot so I'm not going to do anything to it because in the picture she does have very natural eyebrows um, you can apply also fa uh, false eyelashes which I'm not going to do but she does have them on so you can go ahead and apply that I'm just going to apply mascara and I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous and I'll be right on back to the lips I'm using this is um, a uh, lipstick from Revlon, a lip gloss, okay, so on to the lips. This is a lip gloss from Revlon and the number I can't read right now, but I'll put it in the bottom bar. And it's a very, very um, creamy, peachy pink, and that's what she has on. So it's very creamy, it's very buttery. But she does also have lip liner. I like to apply my lip liner after my lip gloss because it gives less of that um, kind of, you know, kind of um, old lady looking. Uh, this is um, Clarins pencil, which is really like almost finished, as you can see. But I'll swatch it on my hands. It's kind of a brownie pinky color, and I really like it. And that's what she has on. The lips a bit, and... Um, makes it nice and um, less creamy looking all over. So anyways, that's the finished look and I hope you enjoyed it guys. Bye!